Welcome to Global One Media Stocks to Watch. I'm Michael Suado. Today, we dive into the world of crypto compliance. Two experts are joining me today. Lance Morgan is the president and co-founder of the Blockchain Intelligence Group. And Alex Hochberger is the founder of a company called Web3 Enabler. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thanks, Michael. Great to be here. Now, your two companies are teaming up with a new strategic partnership to tackle crypto compliance and payment processing issues. These can be a real challenge for companies that work with or would like to work with cryptocurrencies. Before we dive into the specifics of how you're going to work together, let's take a step back and take a look at each of your platforms. Now, Lance, the Blockchain Intelligence Group has a product called BitRank Verified. Tell us, what does it do and how can it help businesses? For sure. Uh, BitRank Verified is our second oldest product, and it is uh, a risk scoring of both addresses and transactions. So as we travel around the uh, surface web, the dark web, and we see these addresses involved in nefarious types of activity, uh, we will flag it um, with whatever, uh, maybe it's fraud or money has gone through uh, a mixer or we've seen it on the dark web next to um, uh, illicit sales, um, fentanyl or cocaine or guns or these kinds of things. And uh, it's with this type of attribution that gives somebody clarity about how the individual or entity is using uh, their funds and where their address has been. And we we serve this data up not only in our platform through our, our SaaS model, but via an API. And um, so we're right now sitting on 50 billion data points and, uh, and growing rapidly. But uh, this product came out in 2017. Wow, that is a huge number of data points. So your company or your product, BitRank Verified, it monitors transactions in real time, and it automatically raises a flag when there's something questionable, like, uh, say, terrorism financing, fraud, or child exploitation. All right, Alex, what does Web3 Enabler do? Give us a quick introduction. Hi, uh, so Web3 Enabler, uh, we tongue-in-cheek call ourselves the most boring company in crypto. Mm -hmm. uh, we, visit, we view ourselves as the bridge between traditional corporate infrastructure and the new Web3 and blockchain world. So our flagship product that we released that we are working with BitRank Verified on is called Blockchain Payments. It literally takes blockchain payment data and brings it into your Salesforce organization that allows a company running Salesforce for your sales reps and customer service to see transactions, build business automations based upon a payment occurring, or track and uh, send payments within the system. What we're really excited for with BitRank Verified is this brings compliance to the equation. So you add your information into our Salesforce app, you add your BitRank API key, and now every time you see a client's wallet, every time a transaction occurs, this information is logged in Salesforce with the score from BitRank Verified. So now your audit and compliance department can see everything. You can easily build automations. It runs just like any other piece of business data. So we're really excited for what this uh, partnership is going to bring for compliance in the Salesforce world. All right, so your company, your product, Web3 Enabler, you, you help businesses integrate cryptocurrency payments into their existing workflows. And you've already introduced us a bit to this collaboration between your companies. Uh, Lance, you wanna add something on, add a little bit on to how you're gonna work together? Yeah, well, it really, it's uh, um, it, it's a, a perfect marriage. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, Salesforce has 150,000 customers. And um, I've always been a believer that uh, the retail side of, of transactions will uh, start to embrace the, the value that cryptocurrency payments and digital asset payments offer, both speed and lower fees. And... Um, at the end of the day, as a company, for us, we're we're about selling our data. As you can tell from the beginning of the call, we're we are a big data company, and this is a great partnership for us to get in front of uh, those hundred fifty thousand customers, along with Web three enabler, and showing them that uh, the future is here today, and you can now take crypto payments in Salesforce and be able to track it all and have that visibility and the regulatory oversight. Okay, so as you said, you're bringing BitRank Verified's compliance tools into Salesforce, which is an absolutely huge platform, tons of businesses using it every day. Uh, I'm curious how you all think your partnership could impact the adoption of cryptocurrency payments among businesses using Salesforce. Alex, you wanna take that one first? 
Yeah, I think one of the things we constantly encounter in the Salesforce world is people are excited for what cryptocurrency will bring. Obviously, people that have only seen the news get scary stories, but you know, there's absolutely an excitement for this new technology and new opportunity. But there's utter terror as to how their auditors are going to view it, how the government's going to view it on their compliance. Mm -hmm. So we've seen recent regulations in the EU requiring know your transaction. You've got to know your transaction. Well, Bitrain Verified solves this problem perfectly. You know your transaction. You know who you're transacting with. So that opportunity to have that in your Salesforce org and auditable and trackable and usable by people who do not understand that about anything about cryptocurrency. You know, I love that Bitrain Verified gives you a score and a list of flags. And you can write a very simple rule in our system that says, you know, if the terrorism flag goes off, email the, the risk compliance manager. Like those sort of simple things, even if you don't want to automatically take complete business operation, you can immediately flag it to someone because it's great to have 50 billion data points, but you need to make sure you're looking at the right ones. I love how you break that down for us. Really nice. Uh, Lance, I'm curious from your uh, point of view, how scalable is the solution? I mean, businesses of all sizes, big and small alike, use Salesforce. So how do you plan to support businesses of different sizes across a broad range of industries? Yeah, um, I, I think that one of the points just to further uh, expand on what Alex had just said is that we do know that clients in different jurisdictions and different areas of the world uh, they might have um, different concerns than others. And so we do have uh, customer scoring available for our clients to really zero in and say, yeah, it's it's anything sanctioned, uh, anything terrorism, uh, gambling, we're not really concerned about these kinds of things. Uh, so we, we've taken care of that from a scalability in the sense of, can we meet the global need? And we've been doing this already uh, in our other traditional lines of business. Uh, and then we do have Bitrank running on our own data center, which right now can handle about 200,000 queries per second. Um, but let's say somehow um, we exceeded that uh, capability um, or, or the demand based on our existing capability. We have a failover with AWS and we could then uh, handle really infinitely uh, the number of queries that could come into the system. So we've, we've implemented something to make sure that uh, it just doesn't matter how fast this grows or how many transactions might be running through the system. Um, we're going to be able to meet that demand uh, at all times. Okay, so you can scale up. So the market is huge. Um, Alex, how do you plan to market this new solution? And what are you expecting in terms of customer adoption? Can you share a projection with us? Uh, so our expectation is approximately over the next five years, approximately 10% of the Salesforce ecosystem will be adopting the solution. That, that's kind of our target, which we, is currently at about 150,000 customers, and we think we'll shake out to about 180,000 customers. Now, obviously, that's not all doing crypto native transactions in Salesforce. One of the things that is great about uh, BitRank Verified, and we have a new tier of pricing that we are finalizing in-house, to make it a quick adoption is regardless of where you're doing your crypto payments, whether you're doing them in Salesforce, whether you're doing them in your ERP, whether they're in Oracle, you need the data in your CRM. You need to track it back to the customer. You need to track it back to the sale. So ultimately bringing that data into Salesforce lets your BI team look at it. Let's uh, your business intelligence team, you know, if you're doing your analysis in Tableau, if you are editing the spreadsheets and you're coming out of Salesforce reports, if you are using Datarama or other visualization tools, all of your bit rank data becomes normal Salesforce data, just the way it would report a, a call, an email or, or a sale. And the power of making this available to everyone in the company that uses other business tools for analysis is really what we think is going to drive us forward as we just kind of ride the wave of cryptocurrency and now we there's a compliance solution and it is a big wave that cryptocurrency wave that's for sure uh, and a good app a uh, good metaphor as well considering that you're in florida today um, <laughs> I want to turn now to what this partnership means for both your companies. Uh, Alex, what motivated you to partner with BitRank Verified and how does this collaboration fit into your broader strategy for corporate CRM systems? 
So um, I don't even remember the fortuitous uh, way we got introduced, but I had a meeting with uh, Lance's head of business development, and my response was, yes, you have an API, right? Like <laughs> it was really the most obvious thing beyond the transaction itself to bring that data in. So it was really exciting for everyone involved. Uh, it's great. It is, you know, it was great to release. It's really being released in our next version of our software, which is due out this week. Uh, we're super excited about all of this. In terms of our general strategy, um, we want to be the bridge between corporate and Web3. Uh, Salesforce first, but we also have partnership we signed with Zoho. We have partnerships in the works with QuickBooks, with Xero, with Sage, with Oracle. Uh, the NetSuite division, uh, HubSpot, you know, everywhere companies do business, we want to be, and we want to be building native tools to make it easy for them. Uh, Salesforce being the biggest player was obviously the most logical place to start, but we look to be the world where Web3 data is normal. Uh, the idea of not taking a cryptocurrency payment makes about as much sense as, remember bringing a check to the supermarket? Don't do that anymore. You know, remember bringing out those machines to scan credit cards and they make, you know, you put the imprint on and you went and you ran the thing across. You know, I think that using a credit card now instead of crypto is going to feel that way 10 years out. Like it's just going to be the way payments occur. So like you say, there's so many changes and innovations taking place in the space. Uh, what is next for Web3 Enabler? Are there any new innovations that we should be looking out for? Uh, we're really intrigued by the world of real world asset tokenization, uh, the real estate world. Uh, that's really exciting. Uh, this data exchange with BitRank Verified, we're really excited for really anywhere business is moving. We think the securitization of really all assets are just going to be tracked on blockchain. And we really think the companies are going to need to have access to that in their corporate systems. All right, Lance, last word over to you. What's next for BitRanked Verified and how does it fit into this new partnership you have with Web3 Enabler? Well, we're here to support Alex and his team in any fashion that's possible. We, uh, we've already had uh, joint training sessions with our sales teams to make sure that they're fully up to speed on, on what this can do and how it can empower not only our clients, but any future clients that we're speaking with. And, um, I, I do see that there are some other things that uh, in the retail side of things that BitRank might be able to offer as extra information and make it a little easier uh, since this is a little uh, outside of the traditional businesses of fintech itself. Um, but overall, really excited with Alex's uh, um, path and exposure to new businesses, like he said, like HubSpot and Oracle and 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 all these other types of businesses that uh, uh, really will just further grow the amount of usage that BitRank has in the overall ecosystem. And um, again, we're here to support Alex in any way that we can. Fantastic. I mean, there's certainly a need for real-time risk assessment when it comes to illicit activities. Uh, and companies want to know that crypto transactions are both secure and compliant before undertaking them. So gentlemen, thank you very much for walking us through your work in this area. Thank, thank you, Michael. You. We've been speaking with Lance Morgan of the Blockchain Intelligence Group and Alex Hochberger, the founder of Web3 Enabler, and you've been watching Global One Media's Stocks to Watch. I'm Michael Swedo. <laughs>